Okay, YouTubers, as you can see, I'm with Bob V again, and taking a nice walk down this unbelievable road. How nice it is. It's almost, well, it kind of reminds me of like a private driveway. Uh, what we're gonna come up to, hopefully, will be another drainage tunnel that Bob knows about. And hopefully, let me turn you around. Hopefully, yeah, I got my gear on. We can get a peek in it, maybe go in a little bit if I do have my mining gear with, and do a little exploring on this eh, kind of overcast Sunday, uh, soon to be afternoon. It's like 11:30, but uh, very. Let's see where we're coming from. Very uh, cleared out road from what I'm used to walking around on. Right off the bat, we're seeing some evidence. There's an old rusty bucket up there of some kind. I don't know if that's a, yeah, that is a bucket. And you can see Bob walking ahead there on this road. Wow, it's quiet out here today. And we did see, on our way here, we did see what looked to be, I'm pretty sure it was a coyote. It wasn't a fox, it was a little bigger. Uh, running in the woods about a mile up the road from us. So hopefully we don't encounter him. It's neat to see wildlife, but you don't want to get in trouble with them. All right, well, enough yakking. Let's uh, keep on, let's get cracking and find this water tunnel now i was told there's many a tunnels on these on this mountain i'm not going to give a location because i don't like giving away locations because then other people come here and dump trash and whatnot which surprisingly i don't see any trash but all right do we get up to our spot i'll get back to you if you can see up in the woods there it looks like a, a waste rock pile I don't know if that was for, yeah, there's a road going up to it. Pretty steep road too. If you look, wow. Yeah, it's definitely a waste rock pile or comb bank they call them. Yeah, that goes, ooh, that's a steep, steep road going up there. And I don't, still don't see any garbage laying around. Oh, wait, spoke too soon. We got two cans, maybe three. Someone was partying. <laughs> Well, but, well, there's something interesting. I wonder if that's a, yeah. Does that look like a foundation there in the back? Stacked rock? It does. Oh yeah, there is some wood here. Maybe there was a building there at one Yeah, a little shed or tool shed or, I doubt if it would have been a dynamite shed, but yeah, yeah, there was definitely some kind of building. This is like a square area. And yes, there's definitely coal on the road. Look at this. Oh, wow. Big bolt in the ground. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Evidence. And the only hard part is putting all the pieces together to find out what this was, what it used to be. And another look going up that comb bank up there and take a look back beautiful road you got a ways to go no seems something else interesting I'll let you know yeah a little more evidence of uh, I don't know if that was just a retaining wall Yeah, very quiet in this woods. And no, so far, knock on wood, no garbage. Yeah, you probably can hear someone, there's a, a town below us. You hear someone mowing their grass. Yeah, and you know, Bob's wondering, he thinks this might have been a railroad bed. I don't see any ties anywhere 
on the ground here. Okay. Saying you didn't see any telephone poles yet. Well, there's our first one. And oh, it's this. I think this is what we're uh, coming up to. Oh wow! Look at this. Look behind you, Bob. Let's check this out quick. Take a walk up. Yeah, this looks like it was all redone. Oh wow! Oh, I feel like cool air. Well. I don't think I'll be exploring inside that. <laughs> yeah. <Definitely not. laughs> no. Let's get down a little bit closer oh, here. Nice yes, yeah, that's what I like wow. about oh nature's air conditioning. Wow, whoa, what was that? A frog. They always scare me. Big frog. Yeah. So big green. Wow, look at the green moss. What is that? Moss or Yeah, some kind of moss, I guess, huh? Wow. Alright, well, we came to our spot. Let's see how deep this water is quick. I'm right at the edge of it here. And it's only a foot deep right there. But as you go in more, oh, you're lucky. You can see where the water is getting sucked down. Right there. Yeah, right there. You can see all the moss is going in there. So, wow, very cool. Let me get some light, see if I can shine in here. Yeah, wood looks in good shape. Those are big, huge bars they welded together. But, doesn't do any good with the that gate open, but they must have put this other one up later. All right, let's see if we can get any good footage in here. Bob just noticed a date carved into the wall. Oh. Zoom in right there, and there's some initials. W. What does that say? It w. Looks like EPM. 1915, and then. That's, that's carved right into the rock. Yeah, yeah, it's not cement. Yeah, that's, not, that's not cement, that's right in wow. the rock. Wow. EPM, 1915. Oh yeah, there's another, yeah, 1915. Yeah, there's another one there too, yeah. Huh. I, saw, I saw that too. That's weird, they put two different days, EPM. I wonder if that's miners graffiti. 1915. This is over 100 years old. Let me back out so you can see a little better. Yeah, I love that color green. The sunlight, it's like a neon green almost. Alright, let's see what we can see inside here. Yeah, it's gonna be a little hard to see. I think it'd be better if we came here at night because I have the light to my back here. And I'm shining a light in there and it's not. Let me turn my light on too. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really see back. It's pitch black in there. It's very dark in there. Very dark and gloomy. <laughs> yeah. That's a shame we can't see. Oh, there's like a door right there, I think. Yeah, there's a wooden door, and then you can see they had a, a, an older gate, and then they put this newer one in. Yeah, way in the, the back. Rebar. I don't know if you can see back there. Right there where my light is, there's something. It's hard to make out. It's... Huh. Or does that curve off to the... Let me yeah. see. Get over this yeah. side. Yeah, you can see what we're walking on here. The sunlight should be to our back because it's see it's glowing it's not letting me see in though darn let me see if i can just step in a little bit <laughs> be careful yeah into that suck hole where that water is going in there yeah i don't need that yeah there's a pipe right there i can see it a pipe yeah right let me zoom this out come on zoom out is that a pipe it looks like the top of a pipe right there let me see there you go yeah, right, right there where my shadow, shadow. shadow is on the, I'm shining the light on. See, you can't even see the light very low, but right there, that's where the pipe drains the water. So that's got to be a good two, three feet deep. I'm not prepared. Yeah, there's a sign there. Stay out or keep out. Keep out. Now, one time somebody must have went in there, but that's what they do anymore. They flood mines. It deters people from walking in because nobody wants to walk in this very, it's cold water. 
Matter of fact, I might even take a temperature reading and see what we get. So that's not the only thing here. There's something around behind me. I want to show you then. Yeah. Maybe yeah, look. It's like a little treatment system. Oh, my glasses are steaming up. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they have that. That looks like they have a gator. Yeah. It's such a level. Right. So if you put them in pin dogs, and hold it, or hold it in two well, Yeah, the pipe is much lower. I can see it. Yeah. On this side. And less angle. They, I guess they, they want to maintain a certain amount of water in there. Yeah, keep people out. Yeah. Probably. Well, let's see. The ambient temperature here is... I can't read it. <laughs> About 77. I'm right here by the pipe. I'm getting that. About 70, 75 I'm seeing. Yeah, and if we pan over, you see it's getting colder. Well, maybe you can't because I got a glare on the Wow, it's dropping down. 55, 54. Yeah, it's about 53 degrees in there. So 20, about 20. Point it up the water. Yeah, about 52. 52. Yeah, water's 52 degrees. Yeah. Wow. And then when you get up, try to keep my shadow. I see it gets warmer as you come out. 60. About 60 to 6 right there. Neat. And if we look over here, there's that manhole. Now, this road continues off to our left here. I wonder if there's something down farther. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. Just a pipe coming out. Yeah. Just a little pipe coming out. Now, this looks recent, this cement. No, it's not too old. No. It goes down the mountain here. And it's not orange. Pretty cool. Well, all the green in there, that's telling you it supports life. Oh, there's a bigger pipe here off to the left. See that? I actually got to get down there and look in that. <laughs> uh, the rocks are stained a little orange, but not, not as bad as I'm used to seeing. And also, it looks like right there, I don't know if you can see, see that side of zoom in here. Right there in the center of the screen, that looks like a timber. Cut timber. All right, let me get down. If you look right here, there's something there I want to check out. Get back to that. Bob said uh, there's something over here. That might be where that other pipe comes out. And you going down? It disappeared. <laughs> Where'd you go? Is that like a three inch? Yeah, that's the other end of this pipe. I can see the light. Oh, it can actually go through something pretty cool. Oh, bugs aren't too bad. Yeah, look at this. Up on zoom again. There, that's better. Zooming out. Oh yeah. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, it's a narrow. It's like an oval-shaped pipe. Yeah. It's not oval, but you know what I mean. Well, there you can I see. Like that. You can see the end over there. The center it. of the screen. Huh, because it looks like it's oval here, over there it looks round. Oh, that's just for what kind of drainage here. What'd you find there? Mm, some kind of goofy looking pod. I don't know, it's all brittle. <laughs> mm. Oops, I hit my temperature gauge again. I see something down here yet. I don't all know. right. Short little walk All right, I'll leave my, I guess I can leave my bag. Or should I take it? Yeah, we're only going right down here. Yeah. If you want to leave your bag. Yeah, I'll take a walk. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Maybe you should grab your bag. Okay. Yeah, here's where that mine water's draining out. And here's this other pipe. Oh, yeah, it's oval all the way around. You can see through. You'd have to crawl on your hands and knees to get through that. Very cool. Yeah, and then standing on the rocks here. That's a neat shot. Yeah. Oh, water 
they're coming out for how I bet you this the way this looks this really makes an awesome waterfall because look I'm looking down the hill it just drops ooh, good 50 feet down the hill here come after a good heavy rain or when the thaw in the spring comes but yeah very cool nice and cool here uh, so sometimes it's better to come in the winter time when the leaves aren't on the trees but come summertime oh it's refreshing to stand in front of that mine yeah it just goes way down i don't see a creek oh there's some railroad old railroad track right there that's it i don't know where that was put in the support hmm interesting well, let's get caught up with bob here get back up to where we were And that pipe just goes over there. There's some animals. Yeah, and that just comes up right back to the mouth of the mine here. Cool. It's nice to see a place that's not polluted and not garbaged up. All right, let me catch up with Bob, see if we can find anything else. Hey, you see Bob coming back. That looks like a gate down there at the end of this road but they must have redid some work up here leveling because this is a very clean area oh, what did bob find all right fossil here's another pipe this one's coming out this way that's weird that is weird it just it just disappears yeah it almost be some kind of a drain some kind of drainage like an all or something like a secondary drain. Or like a French drain? You can hear water going in there. Huh. But look at the moss. That's growing nice. And I did hear frogs down at the bottom of that. Is that a gate up there? It's another one of those spillways with an adjustable gate to control huh. the level. For this part. But I, I looked in and I, I just seen black. I didn't even shine my light in it. So oh. it's, probably, it's probably clogged or something. Yeah. So I don't know, this water must just percolate out of the ground or something. Yeah, it looks that way, like it's dammed up here. Yeah. Lots of gravel and rock. Yeah. Although it does look like a road right here. Hmm. Yeah, check this rock out that I found. Yeah, I saw you pick that up. Oh, wow, check that out. That's so neat looking. What the heck is that? Huh. It looks volcanic. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, you see how it has these? Yeah. All these, I don't know what you call that. I don't know what the proper Something geological out, term is. Growing out of the little cracks in it. No, it's through the rock. You can see it's through. Oh, and through. It's, it's actually... like it's fractured, and it's it's like you know, like not it's not quartz. Hmm. I don't know what the hell's in there. Almost looks like cement, but uh... yeah, it's weird. It's rusty, so it might even be iron. Ah. Maybe like a, an iron deposit or something. I don't know. The ditch we were looking in, that's up top there. All right, let me see. So I said there's another pipe up here. We'll take a look at. And I don't know if there's anything else around here. Well, we shall find out. Bob just noticed there's some water coming out of the ground here. So I was just noticing it looks like that might be the water line. But hmm. And then there's this thing. Which looks like I guess we'll call it a sluice gate. That's probably what drains this. Did we see anything in here? Yeah, it's another one is more modern sluice plate gates. Oh, that's closed. It's blocked off no, there, isn't I don't it? That, no, I, I don't, that looks like it turns. Huh. Looks to me like it turns. You see that? Yeah. It turns off to the right there. You see it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it either turns and it goes down, or it goes off to the side. I could definitely see that. Yeah, that board was in the road. Neat. Let's get the board out of the way. <laughs> oh, it's sticking right up the top. The board don't belong there anyway. Yeah. Get the board out of the way. Let me see in there. 
a little better. Remember how to turn my flashlight on? Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it turns off to the right. I see it. Or down, either one. Yeah. Let me walk to the other side, see? That would be like right here where you're standing. Huh. Here's something. I hear something. I don't know if it's water or a car. That might have been a car. But boy, this drops off here. Yes. Quite the drop. Yeah. yeah I don't hear any water. No. Looks like water would run over here. Oh, let's see. Well, I found something interesting. The crickets are happy. Yeah. That's the first sign of wildlife I heard. All right, let's see if we can find anything else here. Yeah, looking down the hill, I'm on like a waste rock pile, but I don't see any kind of signs of water drain unless it comes out way down the bottom but we're not going to walk there and this almost looks like some kind of a road going down here huh don't know lots of conglomerate and shale oh very cool Ooh, it's warm out and this road does continue that way i don't know if bob wants to you want to go you right a little bit, see if anything else is up there. I doubt it. I don't think there's anything. Well, you want to go a little bit more? I'll take yeah, a little. It looks like someone drove on this. Yeah, I don't know where this goes. Yeah. This is like one way to find out. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere here. Yep. So, I mean, there are houses way down. Uh huh. A little mining village. Probably. Well, the date said 1915, so looks like a deer trail going up there. Carrier. Sure, go ahead. I right, just bring that just in case we encounter water. See how deep it is. The water at that mine was only about a foot, but I think the closer you get to the gate, the deeper it gets. Yeah. Hey, you can see how this road narrows up compared to back that way. All right, onwards and forwards. Yeah, there's that road I saw down there. Bob just, whew. There's a road here. Or something. I don't know. But they might have had decline planes, which let loaded coal cars go down the hill. As they're going down the hill, a cable would be hitched up to it with a pulley up at the top. And it would pull empty cars back up by gravity. Which is a good, efficient way of moving coal no energy used at all all right yeah. cobwebs yeah. <clears throat> but i'm surprised there's no garbage other than a couple of cans we found but yeah it just goes the road just goes along this there's another chute going up that way Most likely, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, let's turn around. Yeah, I don't we're think not, they're... We're not going to find anything else down here, I know that. I'm going to just take one peek around the corner quick. Okay. Nah, yeah. it just snakes up the hill, it seems. Yeah, that just keeps snaking up the hill, and I don't see anything. No, I don't think there's anything else to see here. He's got his map out. Satellite imagery here. Oh yeah, we got satellite. Well, yeah, there's whole there's houses down below us. If okay. You're, like facing south, I see a bunch of them, but okay, we're up on a mountain. And there's a big see. stripping on top of the mountain if you'd climb it. Yeah, that was that rock pile we saw coming in. I'll bet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm not seeing anything else interesting on the map. Maybe need to go up to the stripper and see if they dug through the the mine itself, opened it up, but. From what we saw inside that mine, it's all 
dark so it could all be collapsed maybe 100 feet in or so but yeah very neat all right let's get back to the cave and cool off or actually sorry the mine opening and cool off walking back we're back in this uh i guess you can call it a holding pond i would that's the way they have it set up oh there's a pipe right here in the ground i didn't see this before hey you see the it is a little rusty water and they have holes drilled in huh don't know the cap's probably on real tight no this pipe's actually a little loose i don't want to pull it out hmm you can see where the water water level comes up it's a good six inches but it would be like a natural filter there's some more of this rock you found yeah it's pretty bizarre looking yeah it's like it is soft because you can scratch it with your fingernail is this limestone i was just going to say possibly you see i can scrape we off don't have any, we don't have any acid to test it yeah it's hard, it's nice and hard. And there's shale mixed in here. Yeah, I don't know if that's limestone or what that is. It might be. That would make sense if they were using this as a filtering system. Right. To put limestone in to kind of counteract any acid mine drainage. But they think this would be bright orange. If anything. There's a little bit of orange or iron oxide. Hmm. But it's clear, and I see that does just percolate down into the ground, which does naturally filter the water. Nice. I just saw a small frog jump in right there. Nah. All right, let's get back to the air conditioning. Looks like we're gonna get a little bit of a storm today. They're calling for rain this weekend, which is much needed. I can imagine what this place is like when it rains heavy. Because looking down that hill, I was saying, oh, that would that'd make an awesome waterfall. I wonder how it would look in the winter when everything's frozen. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll have to make a second. Sometimes uh, that's better because then you see more when the leaves are off. Ah, oh, I feel like cool air already. Nice. But, yeah, we won't be able to get into that no matter what. I'll have to make, like I was telling Bob, a little boat with a motor that's powered all the time just to get it to propel in ah oh, that's so refreshing right here yes so all right i think oh well, unless we see anything else like i said we saw uh what seemed to be like a coyote when we were driving up to here i didn't get that on film hopefully on the way back i can see what's here but for right now, we're just enjoying this nice 60 degree air coming out. So that means there's airflow, so there's got to be a way for air to get in from somewhere else. But I don't see anything at all as far as, you know, there's too many obstructions to actually shine a light back there. And walking in this stuff, eh, you need at least hip waders. And I hate step the reason i don't like going in water is because you can't see the bottom you don't know what you're going to be stepping in and that would not be fun for me try to keep safety in a at its peak <laughs> but yeah you can see where that water is getting sucked down in through there where the moss is getting sucked in very cool i love this color yeah, this is about as good. I don't know if it, it looks like it might go in this direction. I said it's hard to see in here. Let me get my light out one more time. Bob has his on, but the, the daylight behind us is kind of, you know, there's not much to see in there. And not only that, I'm getting about a, that's about a foot and a half of water there. That's getting over my boots. I should have taller boots, but it still had to get in because here, right here, got all this rebar. That looks like one inch rebar. That was just put up a very cleanly cut. Very neat. 
All right. I think that's gonna do it for this spot. Back away here. Yeah, I'm standing yeah, as deep as I'm comfortable walking in water. When it gets too deep, ugh. Yeah, as you can see, I'm sweating. Bob's hot. Right, right there's the mine behind us. Uh, I guess I don't want to get too much information. It's nice and clean up here. No one's been dumping any garbage. That's a good thing. But, yeah, not much to go on by here. But we found something. It was neat. It was refreshing to get in the air conditioning. So, I want to thank Bob for showing this to me. Oh, I'm sweating. You're welcome. <laughs> and, glad he's going with and uh, wow, as I'm looking at the mountain range across from us, so there's like, we're like around top of a valley here. I might spin around and get a picture of that for you before we leave. But until then, uh, thank you for watching and coming along. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to his channel. I'll put a link, as I always do, to his channel. And until the next adventure, later.